Hello there, people. It's me, Gravity, and if you can't tell, based on probably how much con how much of this red screen is on your thumbnails, uh, we got a Nintendo Direct in about a couple minutes. Uh, it's going to be 50 minutes long with Smash News. Let's go. Um, if you can't tell from the bottom right-hand corner here, I have a bingo card also. Um, I just want to go over a couple things that I would like to see in the Direct before the Direct starts. So... First off, Smash, a lot of people want a whole bunch of characters. I'm narrowing my choices down to two characters that I think will happen, either Crash Bandicoot or a new Pokemon. Specifically, I'm thinking Urshifu, and I'm leaning to more towards Urshifu, only because of certain things that people have been theorizing about. But let's talk about other things. So, for at least Nintendo games, I'm really hoping that we get the announcement of the next Kirby game. I'm thinking it's going to be a 3D Kirby game. Um, I would really like a new Tomodachi Life. I think it's about time we get a new one. Uh, <laughs> it's the 10th best-selling 3DS game. It's It needs to happen. Um, please give us a new Rhythm Heaven. I don't see it happening, but if I put it out there, it might happen. <laughs> um, I'm, I think that they're going to add a brand new... Um, what's the word? A brand new system to the Switch Online. Specifically, I'm thinking Game Boy. Like, base Game Boy. Not even Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Excuse me, I kind of did a hiccup there. Um, I think they're going to port Xenoblade X. That's pretty much the last Wii U game that needs ported. And then in terms of other games, so No More Heroes 3 is definitely getting shown off. Um, Deltarune might be a possibility. I don't know. We've been it's been pretty quiet since Toby Fox last talked about it. I mean, I, it's a it's a possibility, but I don't see it happening. Uh, Genshin Impact probably might be announced. Um, that'd be cool. Um, then there's other things that might happen, like Plants vs. Zombies or Resident Evil Revelations 3. Um, possibly Dragon Quest VIII getting ported. I would like that. That's just something for me. Also, I wanted to put GTA on here, but I was like, Rockstar probably hates Nintendo, so probably not. So instead, I was like, I put Switch Pro, but Switch Pro ain't going to happen. I just put it in there because I ran out of ideas. But for now, we're going to put in this free space here. Because, obviously, it's free space. And I believe we should be going live in a couple of seconds. I have no idea what time it is. Oh, one minute left. Let's go. Oh, no. Okay, so it should be starting about now. I'm gonna look for probably going to be a couple seconds late because of the lag. Um, so, But it's cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm not watching with anyone, so, like, I'm not, like, recording or, like, in a voice chat or anything, so I don't have to, like, worry about someone else spoiling it for me, so that's cool. I'm curious to see what they start the direct with. Um, probably the Smash announcement, because they already rev talked about it. I feel like they'll start with Smash. Um, if not, they might start with, uh, something like maybe the Zelda Anniversary, maybe Monster Hunter... I don't know. Maybe a brand new, um, brand new reveal for a new game. Maybe a new Zelda game. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe one of the things on my list. <laughs> but we'll never know. We'll find out in a couple seconds. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, RP the M. It's not banned at a three. <laughs> Please note: due to COVID nineteen, release dates and other information made in this video may itself be to change. Oh boy. Koizumi, give it to me. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, I got the got the Splatoon shirt too. <laughs> Alright, what we got? Smash? Not actual gameplay footage. Wait. Is it Xenoblade? <gasps> Rex and Pyro and Smash? Oh. I... I mean, it, it's Rex and Pyro and Smash. It's Rex and Pyro and Smash. Rex and Pyro and Smash. It, it, this is what it is. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest not to yell. <laughs> I feel like this was going to happen. <laughs> One day, Pyra just disappeared. <laughs> oh no, it's lagging. I'm gonna have to drop the quality. It's to keep. Why does it keep doing this to me every time I try to put it to 720p? <laughs> then they throw us a curveball. It's actually Nia. All right, I'm gonna drop down to 480. Mm. 
<laughs> Yo, Rex and Pyra. <laughs> I did not expect this. <laughs> I had a feeling it would be a Nintendo character, but I was thinking Pokemon. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my gosh, what is up with my in of <laughs> right when I start recording the internet act is I just acting up. <laughs> it was as if she vanished in the face of all rest. Is it gonna be just Pyra? Where have you gone? I've gone to Smash. <laughs> Or it could be seen by three. <laughs> but not Smash. <laughs> yep, final destination. I couldn't tell you. It's just an invitation to join Is it just Pyra? Is it just Pyra? <laughs> just Pyra? What? What? <laughs> what? Just, just Pyra? Yo, people gonna go ham. <laughs> Flame Nova. Why is my quality going so down? This is not 480p, this is like 144. This... What is going on? I'm guessing Mithra is also in here too. Yep. Yeah, alright, Mithra. That means we get more Xenoblade music, yo, let's go. <laughs> The Xenoblade wife is in here. <laughs> but no Rex. Big sad. I'm actually happy. <laughs> I had a feeling Sakurai was going to be like, yeah, let's put Pyra and Mithra in, because I like Xenoblade. <laughs> what is up with my... What? I'm not happy. I'm not happy with this, but I'm happy with this. Huh, man. Like, what is going on? Why is it so bad? All of a sudden, my, inter like, my internet was working completely fine. <laughs> Quite respectable. Oh, is the stage a Zerta? Gramps is the stage. <laughs> I, <ro> I had this as an idea for, one of for the stage in Xenoblade, but I was like, it could either be that or it could be, um, Ardain, um, um, more ordained. I'm assuming the final smash is either Burning Sword or Sacred Arrow. And then the other one is Burning Sword. <laughs> okay, I heard it, but I don't see it. <laughs> what is going- Oh my- I'm gonna have to cut off. Like, why is my internet doing this? Is it because it's direct? Is the direct? I don't want to see this chat. Shulk? Shulk? I never expected to see you two again. Well. Wow. 
Like, my internet's not acting up. Yo, let's go. Poggies. Poggers. <laughs> Some boy got them fighting words. <laughs> Now can we have Elma? <laughs> can we have Elma next? <laughs> Cross Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Rated teen by the ESRB. <laughs> they really have to put that in there. <laughs> oh, it's not Koizumi? Hello everyone. It's been a while. Maybe it might have. A little while. I don't know why my thing was lagging so much. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. Yes, because of the pandemic. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. Yay! Let's go! We appreciate your continued support. Is it, is it just because... I think it was just because of the Smash announcement. Every time I do a Smash reveal, it always lags. And now it's working okay. perfectly fine. What you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They so it was just straight up Pyra and Mithra, no Rex. As Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing... I'm honestly shocked. I thought it was going to be Rex. If, if they actually did add them, it would be Rex and Pyra, but no, it was just Pyra and Mithra. I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I'm not mad. I'm happy. Okay, comes in March. March, All yeah. Right, let's continue All right, cool. With our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Headlines, let's go. I'm ready. Oh, Fall Guys? I heard people talking about Fall Guys on Switch. I actually forgot about Fall Guys existing. It looks, I mean, it's a cool looking game. It's something that probably I wouldn't get into. Um, but hey, whatever. I didn't have that on my... I could have put that on there, but... <laughs> I actually forgot about Fall Guys. <laughs> and why is he playing with the Switch, like, not facing him? <laughs> so it's a Switch, you know, you need Switch Online to play. I'm assuming it's going to cost money, right? When Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system in summer 2021. Summer? Hmm, okay. Gonna be like a twenty dollar game, right? You have twenty two minutes before the solar system is destroyed. This is what Outer Wilds, right? Yeah. Venture into the vast reaches of. I believe this was already the coming. Left behind by an or, no, that was Outer Worlds. <laughs> you have twenty two minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. Oh, that's cool. However, you know, this is a world destroying itself. <laughs> allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gather. So if Majora's Mask was an open world game on a planet. <laughs> By repeating these cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. It looks cool. Not my type of game, what but looks cool. How can you my phone is just going exploding? nuts right now. I need Why to put that away. I'm not looking at that. <laughs> out when the critically acclaimed another Outer summer game on Nintendo Switch summer anything right now what we got what we got what we got put your sleuthing skills to the test wait in two classic murder murder is, games. is this Famicom Detective Club yo are coming to North America for the first time Localized in English, Yo. Organized for the Nintendo Switch I really was not expecting them to localize this, and I'm so happy. And twists and turns await ah. every corner. I remember trying to play this the fan translation of this game on the SNES, uh, the Super game, Famicom. Oh. The first one is um the missing heir, and then part two is the girl in back. Oh, uh, I didn't get to finish any of them. Well, the girl who stands behind, but I call it the girl in back. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm happy. In the other game, a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? 
Ayumi Tachibama comes back. <laughs> Blood covered girl is right in front of you. How much when does this come out? May 14th? Near my birthday. Let's go. This is my birthday present. Let's go. I'm ready. How much is that gonna cost? Be like a $40? Ooh, pre-order for Gimme Titty? It's gonna be a 60 buck game, probably, but I'll still buy it. A new age of battles begins. Eh? Fire Emblem? Fire Emblem? Is this Fire Emblem Echoes? I put Fire Emblem Echoes on here. Don't. I will. Fire Emblem? Fire Emblem? This looks like. No, this is Monster Hunter. No, wait. Monster Hunter Warriors? I don't know. This looks Monster Hunter like. But this could be. This might be Fire Emblem. Like a, like a feudal Japan Fire Emblem? Oh, Samurai. Oh, Samurai War. <laughs> I was reading too much into it. <laughs> I'm so used to it because, you know, with Three Houses, they help, the Koei Tecmo helped making the game. And with Fire Emblem Warriors, too. But, like, when I saw the Feudal Japan thing, I was like, Warriors? But then uh, I was thinking Monster Hunter because of Rise looking Feudal Japan. Huh. Remember there was that one Samurai Warriors game that put Takamaru in there? <laughs> Can we get a full Takamaru game? <laughs> so, so far nothing on my bingo card. What is this? After 20 this looks long cool. Years, Legend of Mana featuring remastered oh. HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Legend of Mana. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen is in this supposed to be a ma game in the um, Secret of Before Mana series? Discovering the world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Very, Take very cool. The map to bring towns, <laughs> dungeons, and other lands to life. <clears throat> It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Interesting. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. It looks cool. Square off against fearsome Ooh, monsters. I like the, um, I like the sprite work. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. Sprite looks really cool. I like it. For this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangements and the original soundtrack. Very cool. I wish more remake games did that. That looks like a Tamagotchi toy. <laughs> so we got some June games. June, May, summer. Anything cool? Now what's this? Oh, is this Monster Hunter? Yeah, this Monster Hunter. Rise, right? Yeah, Monster Hunter Rise. I mean, I knew this was gonna happen, so I didn't put this in the in the bingo card because I was like, it was a given. <laughs> that, okay, that looks that's like a that's a Jirai Gumo looking creature. <laughs> Basarios. Volvidon. Volvidon. Ew. What do you spit out? <laughs> I tried, like, if you didn't see my Monster Hunter Rise demo video, I hated the demo. I am not playing this game. <laughs> it's not my type of game. I just could, can't get into it. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> not everyone can play every game. Elder, I have important but I will say, the game looks very good. Go assemble the villagers. I mean, it looks like a game you'd probably see on PS4 or something, but looks nice. I gotta say, it looks pretty nice. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> um, I mean, I got something Xenoblade on here. <laughs> Though, it'd be cool if Xenoblade X got ported. I mean, I heard that, and also heard about how 
this Monster Hunter game is the first one to use uh, the new servers. Which I'm curious to see how well it'll go. Maybe they'll update old games because ooh, I was playing some Smash earlier and... <laughs> Blackfest, am I right? <laughs> Sometimes I just can't. <laughs> I feel like I feel like this thing is lagging is because everyone's watching this direct. <laughs> that's my that's my thing because my internet's not acting up. Everything's working fine. I think it's just because everyone's watching the direct at the same time. We gotta stop the calamity. <laughs> Coming March 26th. We already knew that. Now please move on. Okay, and they're releasing these the special edition switch um, overseas. Very cool. That was the latest trailer for Monster, Monster Hunter, Hunter Rise. Rise from Capcom. From Capcom. I'm assuming they're going to talk about Monster Hunter stories next. Against these ferocious monsters. Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th, 2021. Next, please take a look at this. Okay, I got I got it ready. Well, I knew we were gonna have a Mario Sports. I was thinking Mario Golf, but I didn't know which exactly. I I, I knew it was gonna happen. So I got one down. I knew it. We were gonna get a Mario. We were gonna get a new Mario Golf. I wanted to put Mario Golf on here, but I was like, I don't know if I, I don't want to be too specific. I decided to put Mario Sports. <laughs> But the game looks good, yo. Looks like Unreal Engine. <laughs> I like me a good. I like me a good golf game. To see how your shot will curve due to slopes, and a scan that lets you examine. It looks like it's being developed by. It sounds like it. It seems like it's being developed by Camelot, because I can hear the music that sounds similar to Aces. The outfits look like something from Aces. By holding a Joy -Con controls Motion controls too. Yeah, it feels like it's probably made by Camelot. Wouldn't be surprised if it's like how, like how they did it in the old Mario Golf games, where it's like a Mario Golf RPG kind of thing. At least have a story mode, like the old Mario Golf games on, on handhelds. <laughs> golf Battle Royale. <laughs> golf Battle Royale. Speed Golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time. Then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Interesting. So golf, technically a golf battle royale, <laughs> but kind of not. <laughs> your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. How many players does this look like? Did we mention story mode? Oh, I was right. And it's your me too. Yes, they're finally bringing back being able to use Mies as avatars. Thank you. Please bring back the Mies. Tomodachi life. Um, um, please. Your character, however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Very, very cool. Skills to the test when Mario Golf Super Rush. I respect it. Nintendo Switch. I probably won't buy it, but I respect it. After this presentation. After this presentation. <laughs> the latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes. Yeah, it looks like it was developed by Camelot. With easy to learn controls. I mean, Mario Sports games are looking good, good now. Look oh. to this game on Nintendo Switch. It looked good. I will be honest. It looked good. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. All right, what we got? What you got? For, Check out <laughs> coming to Nintendo Switch. I'm done. <laughs> That's not what he did. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora. Tales, Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion Lackey. Uh, I have a friend who likes Borderlands. So they'll probably be happy about that. Set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands two and three, this game includes all five episodes, filled with classic Borderlands humor. So it's like a uh, it's like a story based game, kind of like Telltale. Handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in uh, I'm just that's just a guess. Adventure. Yeah, with all of it, yeah, that definitely looks like a Telltale type game. Okay, March. Capcom, oh, that game. It's free. Free. Yeah, it's free, but you still gotta pay for the game. 
They give you like one free game, which is like a super dumb game that no one cares about, from what I remember. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. No. Give me something better. What? What? What'd you say? It's just like, no. What? Stubbs the zombie? I'm sorry, what? And get enough of it. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish what? your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubbs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. I'm concerned. Reorders begin today on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's Travis Yo, no more heroes. Let's go. Let's go. When is this game coming out? Please say March or June. Like, I mean, May or June. <laughs> After annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide. Travis Touchdown, let's go. As the crass, beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way. Game looks cool. Hey, 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 not so fast. <laughs> each boss fight, yep, you gotta pay. You gotta do some. You gotta do those. Uh, gotta do those jobs. <laughs> then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their oh, you can play. Oh, they can play like different modes. I li I like that. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to death a variety glove. of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each. Oh, I like that. The fate of the world I guess they kind of took that idea from Travis Strikes Again. Kick some, uh, Whatever aliens have that <laughs> Whatever you aliens have. Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. August. You know. Oh. Nintendo Switch, August 27th. August. I that's a pretty that's a pretty good time to release. Exterminate demons in he heaven. What? What's this? As above Neon White. So below. I think I've heard of this. Why do they need assassins in heaven? Do someone's dirty work. Interesting. <laughs> so, this is like a first person shooter kind of thing. <laughs> Don't tell me it's a dating sim part. <laughs> I feel like every game has a dating sim in there. <laughs> God's judgment has nothing to do with it. I mean, the designs look interesting. Very cool looking. Uncover heaven's mystery. Hey, that's not the first half of the year. Winter twenty twenty one. The DC superhero what? girls <laughs> save the day. <laughs> hey everyone, <laughs> I'm always in the <laughs> like my batarang and that hook. She's super, she's super strong. <laughs> Bet you this game's gonna be like a two out of ten. <laughs> but we're not just about the super life. We also have our cool lives, and trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. No. Hey, hey, I got get this out of here. <laughs> and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. 
Just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC Superhero Girls Team Power. <laughs> stores with <a> Nintendo Switch <laughs> on June 4th. <laughs> you had me in the first half. Not gonna lie. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for plants versus zombies. It looks like it. Yep, plants versus zombies. I think I heard a rumor of that happening, so I was like, yeah, it was probably gonna happen. We are not getting a bingo. <laughs> we're like halfway. I think we're halfway done with the direct. What time is it? Ooh. Yeah, we're about halfway done. Interesting. Coming March 19th. So that's pretty soon. That's next month. Is that the same day as Crash? Hard sell. <laughs> Is this song about to get uh, get every this song about to get everybody to mind days. <laughs> I know it's all, a lot of people like this game. It looks weird though. <laughs> head to head multiplayer. Yes, yes, yes. Give us the good good. <laughs> Give us something crazy. Like, I don't know. Uh, um, a new... A new Dr. Mario. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoa, what was that? They had like a big giant head of hair. <laughs> Battle for Neighborville. Pre order now. No. Who will join you in Wait! Metopia? Anyone can. I'll take this instead of Tomodachi Life. I will take this. I will take this. I will take this instead. This is acceptable. Very, very respectable. I will take this. Tomodachi Life? Tomodachi Life who? <laughs> Metopia. The most underrated 3DS game. I didn't get to play it, but I know it's extremely underrated. Um, I really wanted to play it, but Switch came out at the same time. And I didn't get a chance to play. You know, it'd be crazy <laughs> if, like, they followed this up <laughs> with Tomodachi Life 2. <laughs> make them even more fabulous. Fabulous! Whoa, whoa, what was that? What was that on the, the right? Metopia, relationships are key. I'm happy. Quality time with allies bonds. <laughs> Technically, Metopia is a part of the Tomodachi Life series. So, this series is not dead. They're bringing back me like I wanted. Thank you. Thank you. I am happy. I'm satisfied. I don't care what else comes in this direct. That sounds pretty darn good. The music in Metopia is divine. <laughs> Y'all better not sleep on this. When does this come out? In May? I guess I'll be broke in May. <laughs> I'm pre-ordering that now. <laughs> Tomodachi Life next. Okay, Super Animal Mario Crossing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could technically put Tomodachi Life on there, but that's not. I can't. Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Mario. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in game as furniture items. Oh, you just get a coin. So oh, they come back. And wherever you'd like. <laughs> just make an entire Mario world. No Waluigi though. You can also place two warp pipes. Oh, do you actually warp? Oh, that's cool. You actually get to warp to the different spot. To travel between locations on I like island. that. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? I like that. I'm definitely getting that pipe. A free update for the February, game 25th. February 25th. So next week. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Very cool. But no, no Waluigi. Why you bias against Waluigi? I don't like that. Give us a Waluigi game. <laughs> we hope you continue enjoying life on your island. Hey, but can you can you have a way of deleting flowers, please? How was that? <laughs> I have too many on my island. These Help. Collaboration <laughs> items 
will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. And then at the end of March, we'll be executing Mario. <laughs> Speaking of which, last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. And we're going to release Bowser's Fury as a separate game. <laughs> no, they're not going to. Next, we have another game to show you. Can it be, um, um, can it be, um, so much your life too? Okay, this is the Ace Attorney, uh, thing, right? Right? Ace Attorney, right? I heard rumors about this one too. The, what is it, Ace Attorney Chronicles, I think is what it's called. The latest in the HD 2D series? Wait! Wait, is this a new o wait a new Octopath? Oh, oh! But they're working on Bravely Default too. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> so like Octopath Traveler too? Ooh, Max is gonna be very happy about this. Because he he streamed Octopath like I think like the whole game. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely. Every last one of us. Triangle strategy? It's a strategic RPG. Oh. So no Octopath Traveler, now Triangle Strategy. <laughs> I can't wait for quadra quadrilateral um qualm. I don't know. Salt and iron resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. The Salt Iron the War? <laughs> with an We're gonna fight over some salt. Later, the I need more salt in my fries, man. Once again. Speaking of which, I made fries today. I made cheese fries and I burnt them. They still taste good, though. <laughs> a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save Little their crispy, from the but good. That would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say. <laughs> In this new tactical RPG, battle tactical RPG. Different elevations. Hire me, I'll voice act. Determined by their location and their equipped weapon. I like how a lot of games are getting into doing tactics. With long -range weapons, such as like, uh, there's this mobile game, Dragon Quest Tactics. Oh, which is a, basically a Dragon Quest Tactics game. It's very cool. It's a mobile, even though it's a mobile game, it's cool, though. not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? Interesting. Charge into an enemy to send them flying. It looks good though. You know, the good old attack. HD 2D. I love how they're literally considering this a genre, the HD 2D genre. <laughs> I mean, it has a ring to it. Can we get an HD 2D platformer? <laughs> HD 2D. I don't know, um, fighting game? Most important to survey the battle. But now nah, this is a Square Enix thing, so it's always gonna be an RPG. It's Square Enix we're talking about. <laughs> that looked cool. Choices and consequences. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Hmm. So what you say Utility, changes the story? Morality, liberty. Utility, morality, liberty. Your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting <laughs> how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Ooh. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we and then watch it like, we're going to release a demo right now. Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. Hmm. <laughs> the story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. Hmm. They refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is. Hmm. Working. So let's get 2022. Square Enix. Yeah. 2022. Mm-hmm. 
after this presentation, what? A why is what? Why is that popping up? Will be I don't. To download on whatever. Yup. They're gonna release a demo and a survey. And a survey. I love them surveys. I'm actually interested in this. <laughs> I know a lot of people are like, yeah, Bravely Default 2. <laughs> but now, triangle, <laughs> triangle Strategy. Triangle Strategy game. <laughs> I seriously I saw the scales. So I was like, Ace Attorney. Hmm? What is this? Metroid Prime Hunters? Oh no, this is Star Wars. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think this was also like rumored or like it was like leaked on the uh, on the uh, on the switch <laughs> Coming 2021. That's is that it? <laughs> was that the entire trailer? <laughs> Star Wars Hunters is a competitive free-to-play online game set between a free-to-play game six and seven Cla Interesting in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo switch in 2021 <laughs> That was the short trailer Alright, let's do this Raid Shadow Legends. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at you or the camera. Knockout City interviews. Take one. Knockout City. We all play. Is this Fortnite? <laughs> For different reasons. Gorgon. What is this? Gorgon used many weapons. I am very confused right now. Thorax, Spear of Misery, Hades. Soul devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a well, hero. Um, I bullets are constantly whizzing past you. I don't know what this is. <laughs> just once, just once, I'd like to catch one of them bullets, you know, with my hand. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Gorgon want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I'm very confused. I'm very confused. What is this? This is a new game? Is this a... I feel like I should know about this, but I don't. I feel like I've heard of this before. I'm, I don't know. Yeah, it's not coming to me. Unless this is a new IP, I have no idea. <laughs> Can Metroid crawl? <laughs> I'm actually confused. <laughs> is this like a new IP from a studio or... Captain Wrangler? Blue Team? And then Mario comes out of nowhere. Max Splints? I think like they're using a ball. It's like bat. What a basketball multiplayer game. I'm very confused. I'm sure it'll all come clear to me. Knockout City. Oh, it's an EA game. Maybe that's why I don't know. Cause I don't care about EA. The fight for survival starts now. What's this? This looks art. Looks cool. The art looks cool. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like Danganronpa. <laughs> well, other people will be happy about that too. The twelve of you, known as the Go Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. Almost for a second there, I was like, "Is this almost like uh, art from like Game Freak?" <laughs> I almost like was like. Ugh. The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. I'm the one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome Interesting. challenges. <laughs> monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all? So this is a platformer. A Danganronpa platformer? The battle for survival <laughs> begins in World's End <laughs> Club. Look at that thing. Nintendo Switch. World's End Club. Huh. That's interesting. We Hades? Have the powers of Olympus. 
with the physical release of Hades. Oh, they're releasing it physically. Hades, cool. The critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. I respect this it. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey. It comes with nothing. I already bought the game when it was on sale during the Game of the Out Game of the Awards, so I probably won't be buying the, the physical game. version. Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous super giant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32 page full color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast <clears> of gods, <throat> ghosts, and monsters, all by super giant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not cool. forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating. <laughs> let's not forget about the game. Story. Escape the That's what you really wanted to buy for. The first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. Huh, that's next month. Three deadly action games. One. Well, there's a uh, there's Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And Ninja Gaiden 3: Razor's Edge. Are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. Well, that was already like rumored. It was bound to happen. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Man, Wield an bingo card didn't happen. Weapons, each offering a playstyle with different sets. Oh, we still got time left. We still got like about 10 minutes. Along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. <laughs> Quickly gauge your opponent's <laughs> movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with others. Interesting, they didn't talk about um, destiny. They didn't talk about um all previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Those those are dead or alive characters, weren't they? <laughs> That's why I stopped talking. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. I mean Ryo Hayabusa isn't Ninja dead Gaiden is a character in Dead or Alive too. So. Nintendo Switch, summer huh. 2021. Then dead or alive. Oh, I forgot about that. There was that. There was that data mine that there might be DLC for Age of Calamity. No, don't kill Zelda. <laughs> I was actually playing some Age of Calamity before this started. I'm assuming the it's uh, the thing of things like Robbie and Pure are gonna be playable. I actually didn't complete. I actually didn't finish it yet, but I hope to. Yep, it looks like Robbie and Pierre are probably going to be playable. Expansion pass. Huh. Purchase bonus. Newly added weapon for Link. Costume for Link. Newly added weapon. Can I at least read it, please? <laughs> no. I want to read. <laughs> Brave of Default 2. Yep. Four heroes of light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your character. I would love to get this game, but I'm way too far behind on other RPGs. <laughs> Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2, two launches today. This presentation. The game Final trailer. On Nintendo <laughs> e -Shop. An updated demo is also available. She cry. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. <laughs> this game looks like a dumb Flash game. <laughs> when you look at the animation, it just looks... It looks like a Flash game. It looks like a cheap Flash game. I just don't like how the character runs. It looks dumb. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. It looks like a... It looks like a... Either a mobile game, or it looks like one of those, uh, de those desktop Flash games. Archie for Bridges. Ghosts and Goblins. It'll be funny if, like, the game reviewed terribly, too. <laughs> Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Eight protagonists. Eight Saga Frontier. Y'all releasing all these RPGs, but can I get Dragon Quest Eight? Please? Stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists. <laughs> Each with their own story. Happy birthday! With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, 
Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Okay. Okay. Apex Legends is storming. Yeah. We already know about that. I wasn't going to put that in the direct because they already announced it. I thought there really is anything more they can say about it. <laughs> a growing roster of powerful contenders. Man, I really, I, re <laughs> I really reached too high with this direct bingo. <laughs> all players on Nintendo Switch can None of this stuff is on here. Pathfinder skin. I mean, I didn't expect most of this to be here. I expected maybe like and 30 free levels for six. I only got four. <laughs> eight mayhem battle pass. I mean, I got Metopia. I'll give, I'll give myself a point for launch, that. Like a, like a half X. <laughs> Fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enter I'm definitely picking up that Tomodachi the, the, the Mitopia. How's it going so far? I don't know. There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct. I can tell. So we hope you'll stick with us. Next, please take a look at this. Zelda 2 Remake. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's your new I summoned you. Producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Did you got AirPods in? Sure no. A lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. But we are not. <laughs> we don't have anything to share right now. <laughs> Development is proceeding smoothly and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. They are promising when Breath of the Wild 2 next year. You to wait just a bit longer. Zelda 35th anniversary. We got Zelda 2 While remake. While waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Zelda 2. <laughs> it's gonna be Phantom Hourglass, isn't it? Or Skyward Sword? It's Skyward Sword. Okay. I was hoping for Zelda too, but just for the memes. But <laughs> the faces in this game, I can't do though. <laughs> like Zelda, like Link. Link's face looks weird mm -hmm. in this game. Girahim. <laughs> Skyward Sword HD. Ooh. $60. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. Cool. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. Fix the Joy-Con. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. And then the your left one is your shield. Your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling over <laughs> how to assign different gameplay elements, to I would say if they make it only motion control, you can't play it on the Switch Lite. <laughs> the right control stick. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. Hmm. Swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally. Just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Interesting. Here's something else we've been working on. Zelda 2. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. Darn. The right Joy-Con <laughs> controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield motif. Okay. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii I did and not. just playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. Well, I didn't play Skyward Sword. July 16th. Zelda, okay. Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. 
and the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release day at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, mm -hmm. it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran, even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played the Legend <laughs> Look of Zelda guy's face. Of the Wild <laughs> give this game a try as well. Gus Bellows? Ugh, I hate that item in Smash. Please look forward to the That's Legend all for today's Nintendo Direct. HD. Well, what did you think? Very the Legend cool. Of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement. For last the day. announcement. Please okay. take a look at this. I'm actually curious what this is. I actually don't know. This bingo card is. That doesn't matter. Arms, too. No, I'm just kidding. I actually don't know what this is. Splatoon 3? Really? Really? Splatoon 3? Huh. <laughs> Hair time. Splatoon 3. They're real- they- I honestly would think that they wouldn't dupe Splatoon 3 until, um... <laughs> until, like, um... The next- the next system. And I guess you have a Salmonid as your ally? Or is this a Splatoon spinoff? Is that a crossbow? Wait a minute. I think this might be a spinoff. I don't know. I actually can't tell from here. I was not expecting Splatoon at all. <laughs> um, interesting. Splatoon 3. Jellyfish. He chillin'. <laughs> they got this music playing in the background. <laughs> He's just bouncing. Sam and this is bouncing like, yeah, 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 I'm ready. <laughs> Splatoon 3. I actually don't know what's going on here. I don't know if this is an actual game or a spinoff or... I don't know, because the way that it was... Oh, it's... It might be a Splatoon 3. It looks like a brand new Nincopolis. It looks like a Metropolis, more or less. It'd be cool if it's an actual place you could, like, walk around. An open world Splatoon. <laughs> I mean, remember, y'all decided to make Team Chaos win. And this is what happens. <laughs> People are like, oh, why don't you play Splatoon anymore? Probably because, uh... I guess this is why. <laughs> but can you choose as an Octoling or an Inkling off the start? Because it looked like a no. <laughs> can you stop lagging? Please. Please stop. Please. Please. Splatoon 3. Wow. Straight up Splatoon 3. I color me surprised. But no pun intended. <laughs> well, uh, Splatoon fans, y'all eating good today. <laughs> Whoa. That was kind of cool. How they spawn out. <laughs> What's this? They're like spawning, like, <laughs> screw the bingo card. <laughs> the bingo card's gone. No bingo. No bingo here today. <laughs> we ain't got no bingo. <laughs> wow. No bingo. <laughs> so, like, are you, like, shooting ink in the sky? I'm very confused. 
because this 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 uh, this thing's lagging like a. Oh, I like that hairstyle. <laughs> and the eyeglasses too. Is it supposed to play off the fact that Splatoon that I guess the it looks like it's a wasteland. Ooh, is that a crab? It's a new sub weapon. <laughs> I like that weapon. When does it come out? 2022. Back into the ink. 2022. <laughs> so we can't even. Uh, we don't expect. Can't expect nothing from this game for a while. And they said I was gonna talk about only games in the first half of 2021. Y'all lying. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022. So it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. Hmm. Today, so tune fans eating good tonight. Games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. <laughs> and we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. No arms too. <laughs> we got Splatoon 3 but Nintendo no arms too. Thank you for watching. It really do be like that. No Dragon Quest VIII, no new Rhythm Heaven, we got Metopia, I'll take that. We got Famicom Detective Club, I'll take that. We got Re we got Pyra and Mithra and Smash, I'll take that. I have nothing more to say. I'm, I'm satisfied. Have a good one.